we decided to create a side yard garden. It's actu it actually is, is quite large and you can plant a lot, of, a lot of plants in there. Since this is November, we have our fall green plant planting done. However, our largest area is not yet planted. That'll be planted in the spring. But let's take a quick look at what we have. Right now, in our main area, we only have a planting of spinach done, so it's just now coming up. Eventually, there'll be tomatoes and peppers in this area, and other plants as well. This right now, in the wintertime, doesn't have much sun, so that's the reason not much is planted there. Over on this side, we have our winter greens. You can see we have quite a lot with mustard, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, and several different types of lettuce. In our hanging planters, we have herbs to include basil, rosemary, and then we have thyme, parsley, and oregano. The hanging planters actually give us quite a bit more space since we've gone vertical. They're very easy to construct and you can also take them down. They're mounted in what I call a swing. So the planters just lift right out if you need to take them down for maintenance but they're easily accessible. And over in this area, we have our artichokes. They'll be coming up. They should get fairly large. And by next spring, we should get some artichokes. Maybe we'll get some this fall. Luckily, we're in Area 9, which is southern Texas. So we can pretty much grow all year long. However, you'll notice we did put in a pergola. Our pergola can be used as a greenhouse. All we have to do is lay acetate above and hang slightly down the sides. So it's good protection from frost since we rarely get a hard freeze. Also, if you really look closely, you'll see our overhead irrigation system runs through the pergola. So it becomes a very efficient means of irrigation. It only takes about 10 minutes every other day, and it keeps our soil nice and moist. We did our walkways. The upper walkway is 24 inches wide. Our lower walkway, which is the main walkway between the backyard and the front yard, is 40 inches wide. We wanted to give it a cobblestone type effect. These, the cobblestones are actually on a mat four feet long by 16 inches wide and it's very easy to lay it down. Just make yourself a fairly level base, lay the mats down and presto you have walkways. 
So they're very easy to roll a little cart or your stool around when you're doing your gardening. We used cedar, western red cedar, for our fencing and our hanging planters as well as our tiered planters. <coughs> Let's take a look and see how this irrigation system works. Those are our air conditioners. Typical side yard thing. Over here is our irrigation system. So it's very easy to irrigate. All we have to do is turn on the valve. Walk away before we get sprayed. And there we have our irrigation system fully working. You can see the jets and how it also mists. Our little front fence helps us keep the neighborhood critters out. At least they have to be able to crawl over the fence in order to get in. But about 10 minutes of running our irrigation system every other day or so helps keep our soil nice and moist. In the summertime, it's probably best to run every day because this area of, of the house gets a lot of afternoon sun. This is on the west side of the house. The fencing also keeps our water and mist in the garden area with very little blow off to other areas. We'll go turn our irrigation system off and you can see how much water we actually have distributed over our garden. You can see it's very wet with only a few seconds of water. The other interesting thing we did was our roof, roof drip uh, splash. So on this one long section here that borders off our bigger section is a splash board. So drip when we get drips off the roof, it's instead of eroding, it gives us a splatter board which disperses the water coming off the roof so we don't end up with a big ditch from the water coming off the roof. It actually works fairly well because rains will dis the water will distribute itself over both garden areas. And you can see right now the soil is actually quite moist with just a few seconds of watering. We adjusted our holes in our irrigation system to give us our spray pattern. The pipe running down through the center actually only has about three holes in just to help us with disperse, uh, dispersing water in areas that it's not watered quite as much where our main side uh, watering pipes do most of the work. So the center only has a few holes in it. We gave it a flat pattern by working the drill side to side which gave us an oblong 
type of hole and that gave us a flat pattern more dispersed spray but this is PVC pipe that we just painted uh, with a brushed bronze uh, spray paint it looks a lot better than white PVC up there and then of course up here we have our guard owl not that he does all that much good but he's a funny little addition to the garden actually he, he attracted another real live great horned owl that perches in the tree just across from the garden and that's side yard gardening where we have an attractive uh, garden area it gives the house greater curb appeal and it actually makes the house look larger because of the pergola so it it looks like quite a large house because of the pergola addition and of course our curb appeal uh, just adds that more much more value to the house and we have harvested we've had a lot of good salads with our mustard greens our kale our celery parsley herbs uh, basil and our four lettuce varieties that we have we have yet to harvest any cabbage broccoli or cauliflower but that's coming soon and the rosemary of course will get quite a bit larger so it'll pretty much take up that whole planter along and same goes with the thyme that's up in this top front planter we've also got some fennel but that's our backyard gardening <laughs> 